What's up, everybody? Thank you for joining in. I am DJ Harlem. I'm the owner of DJ Harlem Entertainment. We appreciate the support. Please, if you can, if you have not done so already, please subscribe to the channel. Also hit the notification button so you can be made aware of all new content that we will be posting every single week. Hit the intro. All right, with everybody, we are at the Bay 7 here in Durham, um, getting ready to unload here. We are only doing cocktail hour and reception today. Uh, Bay 7 is located in Durham. We're kind of on the back side, so it's the entrance to the front door area. Got the ramp, easy load in, and definitely gonna be easy load out. So got the ramp right up to the door here. Love it, love it. We're gonna head inside for a second here and show you where we're gonna be at and also uh, show you what we're bringing in. All right, so we are downstairs and this is where the reception is gonna take place and also the ceremony. So you can see those beautiful chairs, beautiful. Altar is gonna be right over there. And then my table, it's actually gonna be right behind here where that, um, where that sliding door is. Barn door, I guess you can call it. This is where we're gonna be set up. I'm gonna be set up before the ceremony even starts, so we'll have everything set up. I'm gonna use the all black facade today. As you can see in this venue, I'm not really gonna do all white. I mean, I know they got white linen, but this venue here, the beams are black. You know, it's dark in here. We got the brick going. I'm gonna do all black today. All right, let's give y'all an idea. We're doing up lighting also in here as well. So we'll get everything set up. And I love y'all, I love these market lights right above us. They did not have these set up the last time I was here. I wanna get a shot of that. Look at that, it looks nice. Okay, stay tuned y'all. I'll go ahead and set up everything and I'll be back shortly. everybody we are all set up we are good to go got the setup behind me that's what we got going on here that's what we looking like right now that's what we looking like all right got the up lighting going click so up lighting was kind of hard to set up just because they have a whole bunch of stuff directly behind me not really places where I could put up lighting at so I just uplighted the wall. I uplighted all the brick wall, entire brick wall. Everything that was brick, I just uplighted. I put lights on. And these are the Chauvet Freedom Par Quad Fours. We got the bridal party over there with the family. Taking some pictures. And that's it, y'all. We got a, right behind me here, we got the two, K12.2s. Then we got, this is a big room. This room is about 4,000, maybe 5,000 square feet, but this is a big room, so I bought a sub. Got my K8181 18 inch sub wood for. 
QSCs, all QSC stuff. And then I got an EV all the way in the back right there, just so everybody can hear toast and announcements. So I thought that was important for this room. Every time I come to this venue, I make sure I put a speaker on the back wall, just because you're looking at probably about 100, 150 feet from where I'm standing all the way to that back wall. And you definitely need a speaker over there. All right, just so when we get toast going here, later on this evening, everything will sound balanced. All right, so we also got, uh, I'm not doing any ceremony music. That's a change. I know I said earlier we were doing a ceremony, but the wedding coordinator forgot that we were, that the client had hired a string band. So we got them playing. Let's get a close up. Getting the, they are setting the mood. had so much fun y'all this wedding was lit this was a huge wedding 200 people we had cocktail hour and reception so we had our setup upstairs which we used in evolve 50 with the mp3 player and then downstairs this venue is pretty big you know technically you could say the cocktail hour and the reception was in the same room but cocktail hour was on the second level and then the reception was down at the ground level where also dinner and the ceremony took place at. So we really had to get there and set up everything before the ceremony. So, you know, as you saw me talking in the, uh, in the video on site, is that it was a little bit of a mix up. The venue coordinator thought that they needed sound or somebody to play the processional music. So it come to find out after, you know, going back and forth, she actually found out that the clients had hired a quartet to the play. So. Everything wound up working out. Y'all, that is the reason why I bring a copy of my contract to every event. No matter if I'm DJing a college party, if I'm DJing a wedding, if I'm doing a corporate event, doesn't matter, a prom, I'm always bringing a copy of the contract because you just never know and sometimes you need to refer back to the contract. We wound up getting it worked out and uh, all is well. This wedding was amazing. The bride and groom, especially the groom, was big on early to mid 2010 music, specifically like hip hop and, uh, and top 40 type stuff. You know, he was really big. I, that was their era when they went to college. Um, actually, you know, I was super stoked about it because that was right around the time I had gotten, uh, I had transitioned my business from, you know, a club DJ to now exclusively only really doing weddings and corporate events. 
So I was excited. You know, everybody was on the dance floor. I mean, it was lit, y'all. I don't know if they still use that term. Yeah. But it, it was lit from beginning to end. You know, they had, um, you know, they did the toast. They did the first dances and the parents' dances. And then that was it. Everything, you know, was kind of, you know, they did a, a cake cutting. But that was kind of like at the point where I was opening up the dance floor. They didn't want to really draw, draw any attention to the cake cutting. So that's actually been happening more and more. I have clients now that are kind of doing, you know, the cake cutting off to the side. Don't really want to draw attention to it. Some of my clients on the other hand pay a lot of money and we're talking about maybe four or five plus tiers of a cake and you know, they want to make sure they get it on video. They want to make sure, you know, the their guests are involved, you know, so I sometimes most of the time I do MC that. But sometimes every now and then I have clients that, you know, maybe it is a nice cake but they don't want to draw attention to it. They just want to go ahead and get the photo op and maybe a little bit of video if they have a videographer as well and, and move on. So basically that's what we did for this wedding. I went in and you know, we opened up the dance floor and as soon as we opened up the dance floor, they kind of went, walked over to the cake table, which is directly next to the sweetheart table. So where they were sitting at and the bride and groom cut the cake while I opened up the dance floor. Nobody really paid attention to it. Majority of the guests got up on the dance floor. I'm talking about parents, grandparents, you know, the younger uh, guests. As you can see from the video, the dance floor was packed all night. I mean, I really enjoyed myself. So we had the main sound system downstairs. I had the QSC K12.2s for my tops. And then I had one uh, K181 QSC sub uh, off to the side a little bit. And then you saw that I had my all black dragon facade. I've only actually used that all black dra dragon facade maybe three times i've had it for almost a year now so i am going to transition into a control tower we'll talk about that in another uh vlog we had the sparkler exit also you know we had almost 100 people in the sparkler exit as you saw in the video almost 100 people you know it's probably right around 75 80 people in that sparkler exit so it was a beautiful line of sparklers i'm laughing because i'm thinking back to you know what happened it took some coordination to get that many sparklers lit at, and they didn't have the long ones. They had the average size ones. So they really had to kind of work in the middle and then work their way out. We want to thank you all. I hope you all enjoyed the vlog. Subscribe to the channel, please support us. You, thank you for tuning in again. We're posting new content every single week. Okay. Hit the notification bell, subscribe to the channel. Thank you and stay up.